face lecture review from my lady is on chapter three your professional image you need to make sure that you are making a positive impact uh, in your working field you want to make sure that you hold yourself to high standards that you look and act your absolute best when you're in public let your image become a standard for your clients and your peers and have professional behavior, a positive attitude, good communication, and ergonomics. All of these things are a recipe for good success. Your personal hygiene is one of those daily routines that you need to make sure that you take very good care of. You want to make sure that you have a toothbrush and toothpaste, dental floss, mouthwash, sanitizing wipes or liquid, deodorant, body wipes. These are things that a lot of times we don't think about taking with us, but everybody could put that in their purse. You want to make sure that you wash your hand and perform self-checks and freshen up when needed. Brush, floss, use breath mints throughout the day. If you smoke during your lunch break, make sure to brush your teeth, use mouthwash, and wash your hands before going back to work. When you're dressing for success, have an image that is consistent with the salon. Wear your clothes that are clean, fresh, and stain free. Wear clothing that is functional yet stylish and accessorize your outfits, making sure that your jewelry is not too much. You don't want it to jingle the entire time that you're working. And most importantly, wear comfortable, well-fitting shoes. You will be on your feet for minimum eight hours a day. Makeup should be used to enhance your facial features. You want to apply your makeup prior to going to work or to school. Keep your nails manicured and clean and determine a length of nail that suits your personal style. Many, many people are going to wear short nails, but they can be groomed as well. Many people will wear excessively long nails. Just make sure whichever area in this field that you are working, your nail length is appropriate. In other words, the long pointed nail that is very popular now is not a good choice if you are working in the facial area. Uh, it is easy to, to pick or to stick someone. Your personal grooming, if you just follow the basic image building blocks, dress for success, make sure you complete hair maintenance, make sure your skin care and makeup looks good, and make sure your nails look good. Enhance your professional image with an up-to-date hairstyle. Keep your hair cut, color fresh. Poor skin care and makeup application can help promote your professional image. Develop a skin care regimen that works with your type of skin and use protective products such as sunscreens on your face. Maintain a positive attitude. Do not engage in gossip. Always remain polite. Always be considerate and treat everyone respectfully. Always be cooperative with your colleagues. There will be times that you may be asked to do some things you don't really want to do. Just pitch in and help. Watch and learn from the behaviors of others. Your physical presentation involves your posture and the way you walk and move. Good posture conveys an image of confidence. It can prevent fatigue and many other physical problems that you could have. Sitting or standing improperly can put a great deal of stress on your neck, your shoulders, your back, and your legs. Today, our computer world, um, you know, we're constantly on our computers, on our iPads, on our cell phones. And if you sit in a particular position with your head down looking at these, there is stress on your neck. Um, I heard a doctor's report the other day that said they are seeing people younger and younger and younger with car carpal tunnel syndrome because they're playing video games and, and texting on their phones so much. Your muscle and bone works together to allow you to walk, raise your arms, use your fingers. So ergonomics is vitally important and that is the science of designing the workplace as well as its equipment and tools 
to make specific body movements more comfortable, efficient, and safe. You want to make sure that you manage your personal pages and your walls, that you use social media to communicate with peers and clients, and you post helpful content, but don't use profane language. Don't participate in or entertain arguments online. Don't post nude or embarrassing photographs. Don't forward any spam. In this day and time with Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, your future employers, when you apply for jobs, will go and look for social media on you. They will look at the behavior that you show by making posts on other people's, you know, timelines and things. And that can be the difference between you getting or not getting a job. So make sure you practice professional behavior when you're on social media. As far as your posture, you want to keep your neck, neck elongated and balanced directly above your shoulders. Lift your upper body so your chest is out and up. Don't slouch. Hold your shoulders level and relaxed but not scrunched. And sit with your back straight. Beauty professionals may become susceptible to problems in your hands, your, your shoulders, your neck, your back, your feet, and legs. But prevention is always the key to avoiding these types of problems. You want to avoid gripping and squeezing your implements too tightly. Be relaxed when you're using them. Bending your wrist up and down repeatedly or contorting your wrist. Holding your arms too far away from your body when you work. Elbows should be kept in and your arms should be used from elbows down to your fingers. Holding your elbows at more than a 60 degree angle away from your body for an extended period of time wears you out. Bending forward and twisting your body all day long will have its toll on you. When you're giving a manicure, do not reach across the table have the client extend his or her hand across the table to you. You don't want to have to slouch, bend over um, the client. You just pick their hand up, bring it towards you so that you can keep your back straight, which keeps you rested for the entire day. The client is only going to be sitting there 30 minutes to an hour. Keep your wrist in a straight and neutral position as much as possible. Use ergonomically designed implements. Keep your back and neck straight. Stand on an anti-fatigue mat. When standing to cut hair, position your legs hip width apart. Bend your knees slightly and align your pelvic area with your abdomen. If you will do these things, you will see your professional image will be great. Your health will be good and your overall well your overall well-being will be successful